There are a lot of extensions available for a lot of code editors which enable you to let large language models complete your code or assist you in coding. There has been a huge focus on coding oriented LLMs out there. If you are looking for a good extension which is suited for VS Code Editor which enables you to code with large language models or LLMs then maybe have a look at this new extension which is called as Continue. There are a lot of features around Continue as Continue helps you integrate LLMs directly into VS Code and also JetBrains Editor. It also streamlines coding by automating tasks like boilerplate generation, code refactoring and also unit test creation. Another cool feature about it is that it supports various LLMs like OpenAI, open source and various others and offers customization for workflow integration. This doesn't end here. They also um, have set in few more features which are coming very very soon. Now another thing you can do, you can just select your code, whatever your code is and then just ask question like how can I set up a Prisma schema that cascades delete or you could ask where in the page should I be making this request to the backend or you can ask how can I communicate between these iframes or you can just highlight any error in the code or any sort of coding um, chunk or comment and then ask a question from LLM about it and then you can also reference the context in line. And there are a lot of other things as I said like difference between commits and then responses, asynchronous calls, editing in the natural language, lot of other stuff. Okay, now having said that, let me show you how you can get installed this continue in the VS code and then we will see how can you start using it. Let me take you to my VS code. So this is my VS code editor and on the left hand side let's go to the extensions. On the top left just search for continue after clicking on the extension in the left hand side and you can see that it is searching. Let's wait for it to come back. And the first one is this continue copilot. Just simply click on install and it is going to install here. There you go. So this is a continue and installing. Let's wait for it to get installed. And let me drag this terminal window down a bit so that we will be able to see more information about this continue. Seems a bit heavy. It is taking a bit of a time to get installed. So let's wait. Extension is installed now. Now in order to start using it, the first step they recommend is that from the left hand sidebar, just click on continue and you can see the tooltip continue and then drag it to the right hand side like this and then you can see that it will be presented on your right hand side. And now you can simply just make it a bit bigger so that uh, up to your choice and the good thing is that there is a GPT-4 free trial which you can use, awesome stuff. Now let's see continue in action. The first thing you need to do is to just get any piece of code and let's see the magic of it. So this is just a function from the example, highlight it and then control plus capital M. On the right hand side it has selected the code and now just ask any question about this code. Like for example I could say that uh, um, but this code, code does something like that or any whatever your question is. So let me say what uh, let me highlight it again. I just remove everything. Control M and let me what this code does and then press enter and then there you go. So it is saying it is implementing bubble sort algorithm and then it everything um, around this code and then maybe you can ask it okay can you make this code more efficient and optimized press enter there you go it's saying that it is not taking advantage of each iteration and then it has optimized the code and look how cool the code is really really impressive I would say so it has edited the code and then 
you can um, also debug it automatically let me maybe uh, put something else and then I'll just introduce an error there maybe in the same one let me do this I'll just remove this colon here and then I will select the code and then again control capital M uh, please okay or what's the error in this code debug it please there you go there you go so it has correctly detected that there is no colon at the end of the code and then it has given us the correct one how cool is that and you can see that on the line where the error was it has also added the comment that edit colon here awesome stuff awesome another cool feature of this con continue is that you can add the context so if you look here on the right hand side just below where I, it is saying ask a follow-up click on add context and you can add your own files get difference like different commits or something like that pull request open files terminal problems so whatever your code is if you want to give it more context so that llm would be able to more informed um, answer then you can provide it and i think in the production environment this will be very handy because you might like to point it to other github repos or something like that to give this more context so how cool is that and let's ask it one more question can you rewrite above code in node.js let's see there you go so it has just converted the whole function in the node.js how cool is that okay and they also have a tutorial from their website which you can check here and pretty cool i would say okay let's go back to our own code and in this code maybe instead of this let's see if it is able to detect natural language so i'm just going to say um write a fast api or something like write an um, write a python program to reverse the list with comments okay now let's highlight it then control plus capital m and then press enter let's see if it is able to do that there you go so i just pressed enter and it has created a program just from my natural language prompt how cool is that amazing stuff and then um, you can see that it is still tr free trial on dpt4 so pretty generous this i love i think a um, lot of these founders they ask for credit card information before even you look at their um, tool but they these ones not only they have allowed me to download it they are also giving the gpt4 free trial amazing stuff i'm sure there will be some limit but it's very generous so hats off to them now i'm you can also put your own key and then you can see that they are not only giving you gpt4 free trial gpt4 vision gemini pro Gem code llama 70 billion how cool is that and i'm in the config.json file you can go and you put your own open api key or whatever llm you are using uh, you can simply access that one that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it i am very very impressed by it simply awesome stuff i will also drop the link to this extension in video's description so that you can also read through i'm just trying to see who is the creator just to give them a big shout out so these are the contributors let's go up and see who is who owns this github repo anyway i will check it out and maybe uh, maybe this guy cool so okay no i think he just committed it anyway i'll check it out and um see if i could find out the creator amazing stuff love it so let's go there these are the contributors sorry i was clicking on vs code so these are the people anyway so i will check them out and i will maybe give them a personal shout out to uh, in the email so because i really like the way they have presented it their generosity anyway let me know what do you think in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please do me a personal favor and share it among your network because that helps a lot send it share the video on your whatsapp your social media accounts like 
Twitter, Facebook or even in the email LinkedIn as well. It helps. Thanks for watching.